Dams are large structures built across rivers or streams to control the flow of water and create reservoirs. They are typically constructed using concrete, earth, or rock fill materials. Dams serve multiple purposes and provide various benefits to societies. Some of which are hydropower generation, water supply and irrigation, flood control, navigation and transportation, and recreation and tourism. If you're finding this video helpful and entertaining, show your support by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Join our community and be the first to know when we release new videos. Here are the top 10 largest dams in the world. At number 10, Hoover Dam, United States. Situated on the Colorado River between the states of Nevada and Arizona, the Hoover Dam is an iconic structure in the United States. With a height of 221 meters and a length of 379 meters, it has a generating capacity of 2,080 megawatts. The dam's reservoir, Lake Mead, is the largest reservoir in the United States and covers an area of approximately 640 square kilometers, 247 square miles. The Hoover Dam provides hydroelectric power, water storage, flood control measures, and recreational opportunities. At number 9, Bratsik Dam, Russia. Located on the Angara River in Russia, the Bratsik Dam is one of the world's largest hydroelectric dams. With a height of 125 meters and a length of 4,417 meters, it has a generating capacity of 4,515 megawatts. The dam's reservoir, Bratsik Reservoir, covers an area of approximately 5,470 square kilometers, 2,110 square miles. The Bratsik Dam supplies hydroelectric power, supports industrial growth, and provides navigation opportunities. At number 8, Sayano Shushenskaya Dam, Russia. Situated on the Yenisei River in Russia, the Sayano Shushenskaya Dam is a significant hydroelectric power plant. It has a height of 242 meters and a length of 1,066 meters, and with a generating capacity of 6,400 megawatts, it is one of the largest hydroelectric power plants in the world. The dam's reservoir covers an area of approximately 621 square kilometers, 240 square miles. The Sayano Shushenskaya Dam provides clean energy and supports industrial development in the region. At number 7, Tarbela Dam, Pakistan. Situated on the Indus River in Pakistan, the Tarbela Dam is one of the largest earth-filled dams in the world. With a height of 148 meters and a length of 2,743 meters, it has a generating capacity of 4,888 megawatts. The dam's reservoir, Tarbela Lake, covers an area of approximately 250 square kilometers, 97 square miles. Tarbella Dam provides irrigation water for agriculture, hydroelectric power, and flood control measures. It has been instrumental in supporting agricultural productivity in the Indus River Basin and meeting Pakistan's energy needs. At number 6, Aswan High Dam, situated on the Nile River in Egypt, is a significant infrastructure project. With a height of 111 meters, and a length of 3,830 meters, it has a generating capacity of 2,100 megawatts. The dam's reservoir, Lake Nasser, covers an area of approximately 5,250 square kilometers, 2,025 square miles. The Aswan High Dam provides hydroelectric power, irrigation water for agriculture, and flood control measures. It has played a vital role in increasing agricultural productivity in the Nile Valley, promoting economic development, and ensuring water supply stability for Egypt. At number 5, Grand Coulee Dam, United States. Located on the Columbia River in the state of Washington, the Grand Coulee Dam is an iconic structure in the United States. Standing at a height of 168 meters and stretching over a length of 1,592 meters, it has a generating capacity of 6,809 megawatts. The dam's reservoir, Franklin D. Roosevelt Lake, covers an area of about 337 square kilometers, 130 square miles. Grand Coulee Dam provides irrigation water for agriculture, generates clean energy, and supports navigation in the Columbia River system. At number 4, Guri Dam, Venezuela. The Guri Dam, situated on the Caroni River in Venezuela, is one of the largest dams in the world. It stands at a height of 162 meters, and has a length of 7,426 meters. With a generating capacity of 10,235 megawatts, it is a crucial source of hydroelectric power for Venezuela. The dam's reservoir, known as Lake Guri, 
covers an area of approximately 4,250 square kilometers, and supports irrigation, navigation, and tourism in the region. At number 3, Shiladu Dam, China. Located on the Jinsha River in China, the Shiladu Dam is an impressive hydroelectric project. Standing at a height of 285.5 meters and stretching over a length of 700 meters, it has a generating capacity of 13,860 megawatts. The dam's reservoir covers an area of approximately 644 square kilometers, 249 square miles. It contributes to China's renewable energy goals, provides flood control measures, and supports economic development in the region. At number 2, Itaipu Dam, Brazil and Paraguay. Situated on the Parana River between Brazil and Paraguay, the Itaipu Dam is a monumental feat of engineering. With a height of 196 meters and a length of 7,919 meters, it has a generating capacity of 14,000 megawatts. The dam's reservoir covers an area of about 1,350 square kilometers, 521 square miles. Itaipu Dam supplies a significant portion of Brazil's and Paraguay's electricity needs and has been instrumental in promoting economic development in the region. And, at number 1, Three Gorges Dam, China. The Three Gorges Dam, located on the Yangtze River in China, is not only the largest hydroelectric dam in the world but also one of the most ambitious engineering projects ever undertaken. Completed in 2012, it stands at a height of 181 meters, and has a length of 2,335 meters. It has a total generating capacity of 22,500 megawatts and can discharge water at a rate of 34,500 cubic meters per second. The dam provides clean energy to millions of people, helps control flooding in the Yangtze River Basin, and improves navigation by creating a series of locks. The impact of large dams on communities is a complex mix of benefits and challenges. It's important to note that while dams provide these benefits, they can also have adverse effects on ecosystems, including habitat alteration, disruption of fish migration, and changes in river ecosystems. It is crucial to carefully assess and manage the social, economic, environmental, and cultural aspects associated with dam projects. Stakeholder engagement, participatory decision-making, and sustainable development practices are key to ensuring that the benefits of dam construction are maximized while minimizing the negative impacts on affected communities. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. We're passionate about creating valuable content for our viewers, and we'd love for you to be part of our journey. Thanks for watching.